What's up you guys? My name is Chris and today I'm going to show you my new studio. Come on in! In this video I will tell you about how I was searching for a proper place for my studio, how I organized a cozy and comfortable place for practice and recording, show you some of my drum stuff and some fun things I keep here. Before we start, don't forget to press like, subscribe and press the bell button. Let's go! So, what's the first thing every drummer must think about when looking for a drum room? I think the biggest difficulty is that you need a place where you can make a lot of noise and at the same time there should be no loud background noise, so you could record the drums. After a month of searching and lots of views of different rooms, I was lucky to find a proper place for my studio. The great thing about it is that it only required some selling soundproof. I found a guy who helped me to isolate it with mineral wool and drywall. After that, we covered the selling with acoustic foam rubber and put acoustic panels on the walls. And that's it! There are three rooms in my studio. This one is the biggest, and it would take more work and expenses to make a soundproof in it. So I decided to put my electronic kit here and make a chilling splash work zone. And I also teach my students here. If you remember, in my previous studio I had a special art on my walls behind electronic kit. In my new studio I decided to make some other vibe for it. So I placed different posters all over the wall and put some neon light. I really love how it turned out. The second room is for acoustic kit. To me, this one is the most interesting. I decided to try to recreate the feeling of my previous studio, so I got some more neon lights and acoustic panels. I also put two racks in the corners. Here I store my double pedal case and some drum tools. Here is my microphones, practicing pads, one of my most favorite albums ever on vinyl. It's still sealed, by the way. Here is some of my percussion and little James Hetfield and a Demogorgon, which I got as a gift. My super cool neon logo is also placed here. I love how it looks on that black acoustic panel. On the second track you can see my in-airs, Last Animals' Leader's Vinyl, also sealed, by a dynamic mic I use for percussion recording and a small tom of my e-kit. I only use two toms in my set, so this guy is waiting for his time here. There are my mics cases, drum heads and my sticks. In the third room I used to store my drum cases, lights, some mics with stands and so on. So that's it! This is how my studio looks like. I love how I settled here and I hope you enjoyed it too. I don't usually do videos like that, so it's really important for me to know how do you like it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to press like, subscribe and press the bell button to turn on notifications so you don't miss my new videos. Write in comments what do you think about such videos? Do you want me to make more videos like that? What do you think it should be about? Please feel free to tell me about it in comments and I'll make more videos for you. If you like what I do and want to support my channel, follow me on Patreon. The link will appear right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.